Hello, welcome back to Whiskey Wednesday. I'm Joe and every Wednesday I do whiskey video reviews. So it's time for whiskey that isn't a malt whiskey. This is a single grain whiskey and it's from Scotland and grain whiskey is the one of the key components for blended whiskey, for blended scotch. So single malt is whiskey just made from 100% malted barley. Grain whiskey, they can use any other types of grain, so they can use corn, they can use wheat, maize, and they can use a little bit of barley as well. So almost, it's almost like a, a Scottish bourbon, but obviously the key to it is they use X bourbon or X sherry barrels. Uh, grain whiskey is often overlooked as well. You know, you can get some really, really good examples of really old grain whiskies. That's the, often the sad thing. There's not many young grain whiskies available. It's normally independent bottlers like Douglas Lang or Weems or uh, Caden Heads or Signatory that will bottle a very old, maybe like a 30 or 40 year old single grain whiskey. Uh, this is pretty much one of the only ones you can get that the distillery bottles and it's a Cameron Bridge and the bottle is called Cameron Brig. It's around about an eight year old this one and you can pick it up for around about between 25 and 30 pound. But yeah so this is the key to a, a blended whiskey. So a blended whiskey will have a good proportion of grain whiskey in it and then made up of various different malts. So if you're intrigued about what goes into a blend, and you're intrigued by that kind of, you know, blends have a particular taste, and it's because of the ground whiskey, so I'd recommend picking up a bottle of this, Cameron Brig. You know, it's fairly, it's fairly well available at, you know, your specialist stores. You're not gonna see it in the supermarket, but any specialist whiskey shop should have this. All right, it's been bottled at 40%. That's just a lovely kind of, almost amber. Kind of gold leaning towards amber. Let's give it a give it a nose. Mmm, that's very different from malt whiskey. Very like, lovely freshness to it. Lots of kind of custard and vanilla. Like a an apricot note. Lots of kind of honey. It's just a lot, it's quite light. Light but sweet as well. Oh, I'll have to taste it then, sorry. I didn't. <laughs> I'm getting ahead of myself, I'm getting ahead of myself. Yeah, it's just lovely and, lovely and fresh. Kind of creamy, kind of creamy ground almonds. Smell a bit of that kind of sweet oak note. But it's not, it's not too kind of complex. It's not massively interesting on the nose, but it's nice. All right, let's give it a taste. Mmm, that's really good. On the palate, very clean, very fresh, very, very light. There's a, a lovely flavour to it, just quite a soft, kind of little bit of honey. Let's give it another taste. Mm. A little bit of kind of creme brulee coming through. A little bit of spice on it as well. And on the finish, kind of spicy biscuits, quite kind of cereally. Um, again, that kind of vanilla comes through. Vanilla, custard, honey. It's really good, almost like a kind of a, a custard cream of a malt. 
really nice. You know, not you know, not massively exciting, not massively complex, um, but it's really interesting. And you do get a sense, you know, when, once you've drank a grain whiskey and then you go and drink a blend, you can taste that grain coming through and it almost makes you appreciate a blend um, because they're using grain whiskey. It, it contrasts well with the malt because malt can sometimes be quite heavy. So they will use grain whiskey to kind of balance it out. But yeah, it's really good. Really nice little whiskey. I'd give it a 7 out of 10, a solid 7 out of 10. If you're into kind of making whiskey cocktails, uh, I think this would go particularly well as a highball. Just whiskey, ice, and soda, soda water. Use that kind of whiskey. It's you know relatively cheap, and it won't be too heavy for a cocktail. So yeah, Cameron Brig, single grain whiskey, seven out of ten. Go and buy a bottle, try it out, see what you think, and let me know in the comments. Cheers, guys. See you next week.